What is up, everybody? I got something new. Another project. Just what I needed, right? Going with the, the theme of orange. You want to see what it is? I got a 190 XT Series 3 one owner tractor same gentleman that i bought that mint 7110 magnum from after he saw how we cleaned it up he came back over and looked at it he's like why don't you come look at uh, my other tractor my alice it was at a different farm i went and looked at it <clears throat> I was like, well, I really, really don't need this, but I wanted it. So we made a deal and he was happy as a clam that both of his tractors uh, stayed in the neighborhood and that I'm going to clean them up and keep them nice. Um, so I drove it home the other day. It, uh, it fired right up in his shed. He retired like four years ago, so it's been sitting for four years. Um, it's been maintained, uh, you know, top notch its whole life. I am not a fan of year round cabs. <clears throat> um, this one's actually in really good shape. All the glass is still in it. Uh, but I want the factory fenders for a series three. So if anybody knows where I can get them with all whatever brackets and everything I need to get rid of this cab, send me a, a message. Uh, my email is in, <clears throat> in my channel uh, description, but otherwise send me a message on the video. I would uh, I'd very much like to find a set of fenders for this. The tin work is in like perfect condition. It's not all beat up. It would buff up really nice, but this thing has been like brush paint touched up. So this one's going to get a complete paint job. I'm going to probably fill one grain bin on one of uh, my farms this fall. So I think I'm going to use this on an auger. Um, he gave me a whole bunch of new filters for it. I think, I think I have like three engine oil filters and three sets of fuel filters. So since this has been sitting for four years, I think we'll get it out, change the engine oil. Uh, who knows when the antifreeze got changed last, maybe we'll flush that, change the antifreeze and fuel filters. It's got it's hard with the lighting in here, but it's got fuel fuel leaks on this side. It looks like it's coming from some of the injectors, but I'm just gonna have to steam clean it really good and let it run, figure out if we gotta pull injectors out of it or whatever, but I mean the inside of the cab It's, it's really nice. And I know the 190 XTs had issues with the rear ends going out because they put too much power in front of them. But on the uh, Series 3, they put the four pinion rear end in it. This one does not pop out of third gear. I know that was another common problem from people shifting them on the fly. This tractor has lived a very nice life. So I'm kind of excited to add to the uh, collection of orange. This winter is going to be a sea of orange. Be painting a lot of orange paint, hopefully. So I get the shed door open here and we'll give her a fire it up and drive her over to the other shop.
So the engine oil, I mean, it looks like brand new. So I'm rethinking servicing this thing right now because um, if I'm going to run it on the auger this fall and then repaint it, I might as well wait to service it till after I paint it so the filters aren't painted orange and then I can uh, drain the coolant. I'll just check the coolant right now, you know, make sure it's full, check the freeze point on it, but I might end up changing uh, radiator hoses anyway <clears throat> whenever I paint it. So I think maybe we'll just do a uh, do a wash job on this old girl. She's she's got oil and crap, mouse crap all over it. So fire it up and take it for a little ride and then we can wash it. starts right up. God, I hate these cabs. It's like being in a metal box with somebody hitting the outside of it with a freaking ball beam in. not familiar with these this series of Alice you got a high low and neutral that's your power director and it was kind of a I don't know not the greatest setup for live PTO because you kind of had to do it with the power director I can explain that better later or another time. Alright, so if you're in the middle and ahead, so we're in fifth gear, that is if you're in low. You just got your throttle. So this is like a kind of like a, a two-speed, kind of like a TA on a, an older international. So if we wanted to go to high, just hook it up to high. when I saw the tack. That's not original hours. So the gentleman I bought it from, he changed, put a new tack in it when he got it from his dad so he could keep track of how many hours he put on it. And he's trying to find what he did with the original tack because it wasn't broke. I don't know doesn't make sense to me but preach their own um he thinks it has a total of about four thousand hours on it which that is pretty insane i got a i looked at the serial number i think this is a 71 but we'll check again 
gonna be noisy, but go down the road a little bit here. You can tell this tractor does not have a ton of hours on it by... Oh, look at the, the diamonds on the clutch pedal. There's, they're not worn off. Try not to fall on my ass here. Can we wash it? It's going to make a real nice replacement for uh, that thing right there. I just drained the engine oil and the coolant. We'll see. See what went wrong with that one one of these days here. I did start combining, but uh, we got some rain here today, so gave me a chance to uh, mess around here at the shop a little bit. Any but anybody that wonders, I just use a purple power degreaser and I have a pump sprayer that I dedicate to that and I just hose the stuff down with purple power and I let it sit for a little bit and then I start washing it off.
one thing I'll say is that is some pretty thick grease Look inside the rim there was no lack of greasing on this uh, tractor <laughs> sorry I'm tripping over this tripod but you get the drift I'll uh I'll get the grease blasted off and then we'll soap it. That was one hell of a lot of old caked on grease. Man, she needed a degreasing. But uh, I'm gonna soap her down now. Whenever it gets painted, this thing will get washed several more times, but that was a, a really good first go over. All right, she's all soaped up. Looks a lot better. So if you notice, there's wheel weights on this side. It's not on this side. There's fluid in the tires. It's been years and years, but uh, the older gentleman that I bought it from said that um, his dad used to plow with it. They have a international uh, five bottom plow that was in the shed too that looked to be in excellent condition. But guess what? They threw the plow in with the tractor. Um, those plows aren't worth much of anything anymore. And my entire life of farming and farming on my own believe it or not i have never plowed once um my dad always had chisel plows and i've always had chisel plows so i'm actually a little excited if i bought them i've bought them is probably about all she wants but uh this tractor used to plow with that plow i still got to bring that plow home when I get time, this came with uh, duels also, clamp-on duels. I got to get them. But it'd be pretty neat to, uh, we'll see how this fall goes, how fast I get done. But like, I have an acre of corn right there. And over on the other side of the house, I got five acres of corn. It'd be pretty cool to uh, get that plow and set it up on this thing and, and plow that six acres or whatnot. Plus, I've always wanted to, to get into uh, like plowing and go to some of the plow, plow days and that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool that I'm getting the, uh, the plow, one owner plow too, um, that, uh, that this thing used to pull along with it. I'm going to get it pulled in the shop and then uh, I'll go over some of the specs on this tractor out of uh, my book. All right, since the last clip, I put the tractor in the shop and me and the lovely Mrs. G went to our local favorite bar and had dinner beverages. And, and beverages and now how you like my shirt? That's pretty sweet, huh? Um, it's <laughs> it's uh it's story time with Mr. and Mrs. G. If you're an Alice lover, you have this book, also known as the Alice Bible by Norm Swinford. So let's talk about our new tractor. 
that's our serial number. It is a 190 XT. It is a serial series three, so that's a four pin differential. On series two, they went to the two light fenders. So for anybody that knows where to find me, the factory fenders, I need the two light fenders. They did the trans improvement in 1966. Our serial number. Wait a minute, where do you think you're going, Mrs. G? You're, you're supposed no to. No one saw me, stop. Hey, sit back down. I am. It's story time. Our serial number runs right in this range. So it is a 1971. Uh, the Nebraska, let me find it here. The Nebraska test results for the diesel was 93.6 horsepower on the PTO. Somebody's probably going to freak out that I took a pen in this book and underlined them, but yeah, it's a nice book. I would be that person. It has a 301 cubic inch displacement engine with a turbocharger. And it happens to be on the cover of the damn book. So that's pretty cool. Wait till we get into uh, the specs on the 8550 Big Alice. Get in frame. All right, guys, another project. Can't wait to do it. Thanks for watching. We love your support. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have beverages first. Yeah, no, <laughs> beverages are always, always good. So, have a fabulous weekend. Later. <laughs>